Hey guys, uh, Darren from Haas Factory Outlet Champions in Texas. Um, today we're going to talk about calibrating our probe. So, talking about the ATP here. So let's say we've taught a tool, we've cut a reference OD, and let's say the OD of this part is five thousandths too big, and we've run job after job, and it seems like every tool we teach is always five thousandths too big in the OD. So, um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to our settings page. And we can get to our probe settings a couple of different ways. We can either arrow down to probe and press the right arrow key and get to those probe settings. We could have also searched for the word probe either way using the F1 button. We're going to talk about probe offset plus X. So remember that plus X is always the top of your probe stylus itself. This 4.059 number is not a magic number. That means that the top of your probe is sitting at exactly a diameter of 4.0594. Your probe offset minus X, which is used for boring bars and such, defines the diameter that you're sitting at with the bottom of the probe. So since we're playing around with ODs, let's say that we are 5 thousandths off with this number all of our parts are cutting five thousandths too big we need to make this number five thousandths larger so we'd have to add five thousandths to this setting when we do that we also have some macro variables we have to change as well so if i would change this value for setting number 59 i'd also have to go over to current commands i'd have to go to my macro variables tab and I would have to search for these variables here. Variable number 10582 is equal to plus X. So whatever value you set for setting number 59, you also have to set for variable number 10582. For the minus X, setting number 60, you would also go to 10583 below. So as long as those values match each other, you can make that adjustment and calibrate your probe yourself.